Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, we're in this series called Walking Deeper, going to that deeper, deeper place uh, with God in our life. We know that the church, as I've said the last couple of days, the church uh, is, is in the, the routine, the pattern of causing us to reflect on the same issues, the same circumstances of what Jesus did and who Jesus was and gets us to do that our whole life. When you think of the Gospels, they're not that, uh, they're not that big and yet we spend our whole life looking at the life of Jesus and what he did over and over and over and over again, always going to a new place. Yesterday, I talked about the man whose name was Simeon and he had prayed to God, God, don't let me die before I see the Messiah, the one who is to come. And, uh, and then when Jesus and Mary bring, uh, sorry, when Joseph and Mary bring Jesus into the temple to commit him to the Lord, Simeon takes him up in his arms and praises God because for a number of things, one, God has honored his prayer and he, has, he, has, he recognizes that God is faithful to what God does. Have a look at what he then goes on and, he, and, it's, and it says, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. This is from Luke chapter 2, verse 29. Master now... And master meaning God, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel. What's it saying? It's this. Simeon picks up this child, Jesus. And Simeon says to God, as he praises God, he says this, Master, or God, now you are dismissing your servant in peace. He's saying, now I'm at peace. What you promised that I would see, I have seen, I am at peace. Now, here's the thing about when we go deeper. When God works in our life, when we have an openness to God, it doesn't matter whether there are storms around us. It doesn't matter whether there are circumstances around us that are difficult. Is that when God honors what he's asking, there is immense and deep peace. If we were to look at some of the many of the martyrs that we, we hear about through history, if we were looking at St. Stephen, who is stoned to death, what many of them were in the midst of those, those moments of turmoil, there was this tremendous sense of peace because they knew that they were doing what God had called them to do, that God had honoured his promises to them. And so in the midst of our circumstances, God honours what he says he will do. And so, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word, according to what you said. And then Simeon says, For my eyes, for my own eyes, have seen your salvation. For my own eyes have seen your salvation. For my own eyes, I have seen Jesus, who is the one who will save, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples. It was Mary who carried him for nine months. It was, it, it, it was, it was Mary who had, had brought him to the temple, right in front in the midst of everybody um, and the people. There was Jesus. He's a light for revelation to the Gentiles, to, the Jew, to people beyond the Jewish nation. He was going to be a light for revelation. He would bring light. We wouldn't have faith today. I wouldn't have faith today if it was not for Jesus bringing light to the Gentiles and for the glory of your people, Israel. Imagine, imagine that sense of Simeon going, wow, I, I, I prayed I prayed that you would not let me die until I saw the, the Messiah. And you've done it. God, you've done it. God, you were faithful to what you said. You have done it. Imagine how he would be feeling. Do you think he'd be someone who'd just say, oh, I'm just going to turn up to church this weekend, not give it a lot of thought, but I'll tick the box of obligation? Do you think he's someone who said, well, I should say my prayers today? Um, because I'm meant to say some prayers? Or do you think he would have been consumed with this love 
and experience of and, and wonder on, and say, who is this God who has revealed himself, who has done this for me? In your life, whether you're in business or in your family, in a job that you do, in your study life or at school, there are moments when God is with us and God honors his promise. And if we go deeper, we begin to see with the eyes of faith, the eyes of our heart, the eyes of the Lord in us, our spirit within us, we begin to see the action of God. And, 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 we, and we get to that place where we are in awe of who God is. We're in awe of what God is doing. We're in awe of, of the fact that God who is infinite and perfect and everywhere all at the same time and all knowledgeable focus his love upon each of us. Go deeper. Go deeper. Don't just read the story. Read what God is saying to your spirit. Listen to what God is saying to your spirit. And you'll walk deeper. You'll pray deeper. And you'll turn up to church in a different way. And then what will happen is it will overflow into your daily life and you'll begin to live more deeply with that sense of the presence of God bubbling up within you as the scripture talks about all of the time. It's just so powerful if you will go deeper beyond what you just normally do by routine. Go deeper and live in that sense of the presence that God is with you today exactly in the place where you are. Loving Father, we thank you today that you call us to deep. You call us to the place of surrender, of awe, of being overcome and being amazed. Lord God, allow us to celebrate your promises that are already existent in our life. And if we're not sure what you've promised us, we're not sure what you've said, would you reveal that to us? And Lord God, allow us to hear new promises that we know that you will honour and that we will be transformed by. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.